Good morning. I'm out at the Herefordshire again. About time I actually played some golf. And when I go abroad, I can get as many as five or six different tees to choose from. I can choose the length for me. Here in Britain, we've got the white competition tees just there, the yellow tees are just there, and the ladies are just a little bit further in front. So a guy in his 70s has got to play the same course that a guy in his 20s who can hit it 70, 80, 90, 100 yards past him. Now that doesn't quite seem right to me. Plus, of course, the tees are assessed for that mythical scratch golfer who drives it 260 yards. They're not assessed for the 72-year-old who hits it 185 just doesn't seem right. 392 yards and for the sake of this video I'm using the 5 iron as my driver. The 6 iron will be my 3 wood and the 7 iron will be my hybrid. And as I'm in the rough here this isn't a 3 wood lie so I'm going to use the 7 iron. At least that's better than the first shot. And then just a sand wedge in. Not going mad with the captions on this one. Just going to talk you through it really. Now my last round of golf was at a beginner golf course with very, very slow greens. So um, I do this once or twice in the round and even worse than that. That was a fun start. Now, I cannot replicate the difficulty of hitting a driver with a 75 mile an hour swing speed, or a three wood off the fairway with a 72 mile an hour swing speed. I can't replicate that difficulty. Obviously a five and a six and a seven iron is going to be much easier, especially with my slightly higher swing speed than that. But just bear with me and see what direction this video takes. Well, it's certainly too tight down there. For a three wood, I need to lay back. Well, scuffing it along the ground, that's Certainly one way of laying back, I suppose. As you can see, it's a little bit early days with the swing. It's still not very pretty. But we're on the dance floor and we've actually got a par chance, which is not what I was expecting. Um, oh dear. Right, I know you're going to say, Simon, you wanted a break so that you could play golf, practice golf, get away from the camera a bit and you're right but what am I doing today I'm playing I'm practicing my irons which is dressed up with a different title to I practice with my irons and there's a huge difference between trying to shoot 77 on camera and if I shoot 97 today it doesn't matter in fact it would prove my point if I shot 97 today Well, I got a good run coming over the hill, but I can't even see the green, never mind try and hit towards it, so I've got to lay back. And this is quite a di good deal of pressure. It is so difficult, especially when you close the club face of your sandwich. But I've not experienced this kind of pressure for ages. This is immensely difficult playing the full length with only a short drive. And more to the point, it's not actually very enjoyable either. It will rack up yet another double bogey. 
go on to the fourth, and this is the very first hole where I have a legitimate chance as a short hitter to hit the green in regulation. Hit that a bit right. Sort of thing you might do with your driver. And this is a horrible slope to try and play off. And the green in regulation has gone out the window. And it puts a huge amount of pressure on your short game as a short hitter. I didn't realise just how difficult it is when you're in your 70s and don't hit it very far. The ninth hole at Gloucester is at par 3. It used to be 225 yards into the prevailing wind. With two clubs of wind in your face, 90% of the field couldn't reach it in a competition from the back tee. Any other day, percentage far higher. I got 193 here and it's playing 203 up the hill. So I can't reach. My friend Neville, with his driver, cannot reach. This isn't fun. And I've got this to look forward to as I get older. Oh dear. That's as hard as I can hit a five iron and I'm still a yard short. Short game required again. And that was a weird skiddy bounce. So it slipped by and I've finished up in the land of impossible putts really. This is so difficult. Right, when the World Handicap System was invented, clubs had to be reassessed, get their stroke rating and slope rating sorted out. And they had the opportunity at that time to get the Reds here assessed for men. But that's no real use to seniors because the few golf clubs that did have their Red C's, T's assessed for men that have been assessed for that mythical scratch golfer who hits it dead straight 260 yards. It was not assessed for someone who's 70 years old. So if you go forward and play the Reds, then the par will come down because you've, you will probably have lost a couple of par fives on your course. There will now be par fours for you. And the stroke rating and the slope rating will be incredibly low. So when the slope rating and stroke rating is low, your handicap goes up, strangely, when they say the golf course is easy. So I'm going to play five holes from the Reds and see if that makes any difference. But I am entering the hardest part of the golf course now, so it's going to be painful, isn't it? So for the ladies, this is a par five. But as I'm a man, I'm expected to do it in four. Well, I don't have a chance. So as well as moving to the red tees, you'd have to keep the red yardage and you would have to assess the course for someone in their 70s, not assess the course for that scratch golfer. Because you, you just don't have a damn chance. And if you don't have a chance, then there's no enjoyment in it. How bad is that? Especially when you can't keep your sand wedge open. Keep shutting the face and dragging it left. Oh. So for the ladies, that was a putt for a birdie. But for me, I'm walking off with yet another double. At least this is manageable. If I was hitting the ball decently, it would be manageable, but that just, it's just awful. Thankfully, I can say it's better than this now. And the putting's better too.
again a par 5 for the ladies but a par 4 for all the men and reaching into is just impossible in the rough sat down a bit 7 iron which is easier to hit than a hybrid out of that but we'd probably hit a hybrid more or less in the same place 92 yards out got to get it up and down for that par it's, it's just the pressure is too great it is just too difficult although I did hit one of my very best shots ah I tell you what would really help and that's not just playing the red tees which is obviously helpful but also playing the red tee uh, par because round here it's a par 72 from the reds and we're using the red slope and stroke rating you'd have a chance of having a reasonable handicap and making a reasonable score and therefore being happier about your golf now the next hole is not a par 5 for the ladies, it's a very long par 4. So we're going back to misery. Another impossible hole and I'm starting to hate this. This isn't enjoyable at all. Can't risk going over the corner, I'm not long enough. So I've got to stick it out to the left. Try and put a bit of turn on it. Try and hit a decent wedge. And try and hold a putt. Now there's something that the establishment has gone all wrong. My dad died age 69, he had cancer the last two years of his life and he didn't play golf. But he was still strong enough to hit the ball and maintain a 19 handicap at, what was it, 17 handicap at the age of 67. My mate's dad carried on into his 70s, he worked his way up to a 28 handicap he couldn't play to it, he was regularly shooting 35 to 40 over par and he quit golf because he was miserable. So as you get older, especially now with the WHS, the establishment will grant you higher and higher handicaps into the 30s, even into the 40s if required. But I get the feeling that isn't what people want. They don't want to play a par 3 that they can't reach. They don't want to play par 4s that takes them 3 or 4 shots to get on. They don't want to play par 5s that takes them 4 or even 5 shots to get on. What they want is a set of tees that they can play golf on, where they can reach a green in 2, make a par, perhaps even like there, make a birdie. They want a golf course that's for their ability. They don't want to keep playing golf courses which are for the scratch golfer's ability. Well the Herefordshire here has a little trick up its sleeve and it's called the blue tees, generally used by the, un by the juniors. But here in the winter when the ground is soft and there's no roll, the seniors play them. Eight holes, blue tees, 
let's see what I can score with just my five iron, just my 175 yard tee shot. Let's see if I can actually enjoy it as opposed to some of the long par fours I've been playing where I couldn't get anywhere near in two. Well, I've just been invited down and I just completely rushed this and made an absolute horlix of it. How fast was that swing? Ah well, never mind, it is in swing? the fairway. But you can see from the blues, you've actually got an opportunity. Until you shut the face of your eight iron and almost put it in the halfway house instead of the green. But it's a completely different prospect. All of a sudden, I got the chance, if I strike the ball well enough, I can actually play golf as opposed to what I have Thank been playing. Gonna, that two ball's coming down now, so I'm going to stop for 20 minutes. And that Back in 2014, on my Thailand trip, I played with a golf society because I wanted to compete. And we played 12 rounds of golf while I was there. I was a 5.2 Kongu handicap when I went and I was a 5.2 when I came back. I had a really good tour. But they played in three divisions. 0 to 14 played the white tees, 15 to 28 played the yellow tees and the super seniors played forward. So you've got the option out there, age 70. If you wish, you don't have to, but you can play forward, put three cards in and get a brand new handicap. So while I'm playing 520 yard par five off the whites and the, the next division is playing 460 or 470 yard par five, the super seniors are playing a par five of say 380 or 400 yards. And that's, I feel, what people want. They wanna play a golf course that suits their ability. They want a yardage that suits their ability. You know, anywhere from 4,700 to 5,200 yards. They don't want handicaps in their 30s and 40s. Anyway, how far is this one? 204 yards. So, um, I don't have to hit my driver as an elder senior, do I? At this, this kind of length, I can actually enjoy the hole. I can hit the green in regulation. And I can even have a birdie putt. Now this is what I'm talking about. I'm 90 yards forward and yet the difficulty is exactly the same. Still gets very narrow so you can't hit it too far and you've still got the uphill shot you can't see the surface of the green. The difficulty is still there. But now there is a reward if you can putt. <laughs> yeah, if, if you can putt. Oh dear, I've never had such a bad a day as this. And it's not over yet. But you can see how you can change the yardage be able to play golf as opposed to playing whatever. When I go out to Thailand, I see guys in their early 80s playing golf. They can play golf all year round. They're warm all year round. You know, they don't have the killer winters that we get, which ruin your body and puts you in an early grave. They got a golf cart and they got a caddy to look after them. But most importantly, the thing that keeps them going, the thing that keeps them playing golf, is a set of tees that they can get enjoyment from. I mean, if I had to play six and a half thousand yards in my 70s, I think I'd just quit. And I think that's why seniors do quit. They're just not enjoying golf anymore. And just because you're forward, it doesn't mean you're not going to play bad shots. It doesn't mean you're not going to make bogeys. The bogeys are there if you want to find them. And I'm finding them because obviously my game's a little out of sort at the moment. It's a bit of a mess. But 
you've got an opportunity. And that is what is missing for super seniors playing 6,000 yards and more. They don't have any opportunities. I can't imagine teeing off from here with a 190 yard drive. I certainly can't get over these trees. I'd have to hit it down the right hand side and, or left hand side rather, and in the rough and in the valley and that's not very pleasant is it? Looks a little better from the latest tees. I mean the, the marker post that's in the middle of the fairway just behind that bush is 198 yards away but you're going to be landing into an upslope. It's probably going to roll back a little bit. So you're going to be playing your three wood off a slope like this and you can't see where you're going. So uh, I don't know how the ladies manage from here but I don't think I'd want to play from here even in my 70s with a 190 yard drive. My five iron certainly isn't getting across the valley. Well the blues here are 373 and we've got across the first valley. We've still got the second valley to get across. You can still hit a bad tee shot and you can still finish up in the rough where you don't have a shot at the green. I've got 170 yards here. If this was a flat par 5 I wasn't reaching. Unfortunately it is labelled as a par 4 because it's only 373 yards. And when you're coming down the hill, there's no stopping it. So you're not going to get it close enough. So you're going to finish up with a five anyway. So why shouldn't 373 yards be a par five? 119, nine iron, maybe an eight iron for a senior, maybe even a seven iron for some, but it's manageable. And if it's manageable, you can enjoy it because you've got a chance. If it's longer, then you have no chance. And that's what it's about, really, is playing forward so that you can have a chance. I just watched an old boy tee off from the yellow tee with driver and not make it over the water. Do you think he'd be having more fun from the tees I'm using? I think so. Number 16, the long narrow par 5 uphill all the way. The old boy teed off from the yellows and he managed to get himself level with the reds which is some 50 or 60 yards in that direction. I'm going to play this as 344 yards with my 5 iron driver. I think I'm going to have a lot more fun on this hole than he is. Why is it that I can't, at the age of 70, put three cards in from here, get a handicap from here and play my competitions from here in my own division of Super Seniors? Why do I have to fly 6,500 miles before I find a place that will allow me to do exactly that? If I've got to play down there at whatever it is, 495 or something, uphill, it's going to take me five shots to get there. Two putts, seven. And I don't want a big handicap, I want to have fun. I want to make pars. I want to have a birdie putt when I get older. Why do you have to go six and a half thousand miles to be treated like a human being? I don't know. Well this is 344 par 4 but it ought to be a par 5 for a super senior. I've hit a decent 5 iron here but it landed in the rough which has killed it. Got rid of the roll and it only went 145 yards. So it's still a three-shotter. So if it's a three-shotter, it must be a par five. So everything needs to be 
it's not just about providing a set of tees for people of 70 years and older. It's getting the pars right and somehow assessing that course for a 70-year-old instead of a 25-year-old who drives it 260 yards dead straight. And if you're the wrong side of the flag, you're still going to get punished. You know, it, it's easier without being easier, if you see what I mean. Now the last hole is, or 17 here, it's about 147 up the hill. It's a par 3. And I've hit it too far, which means the chances of me getting a par 3 are nil. You know, out in Thailand, you can go and play 4,800 yard par 72 because they don't change the par just because the tees are forward and enjoy it. That is what is missing here in Britain. Anyhow, you got the gist of what I'm trying to say about people in excess of 70 years old. And if you want to come in the comments and say, look, I'm 75 and I can still hit it 220 with my driver, then that's, that's brilliant. Please, please do that. But um, they do say from the age of 73 is when you really start to lose swing speed and therefore distance. Shame I can't afford to fly six and a half thousand miles to be treated like a human being where I can go forward, I can play 5,000 yards and I can still make pars and the occasional birdie. Cheerio.